So, uh, yes, I have an update. I had someone go to the courthouse and do the work for me. I'm very, very, very grateful. And uh, it turns out they did a deep search, looked for my name and address um, for search warrant, arrest warrant, 30 days pre and post my arrest date. Didn't find anything. Nothing was properly processed around those dates. After the sheriff, uh, the, whoever filed it, the police officer filed it, they didn't register it with us. So they didn't register the... We are not sure. We can't find it in our lab. How, how many, uh, did you go back a specific amount of days from the filing date? 30. 30 days? I did the month before and month after. Okay, nothing came up? No. Okay. Yeah, that's what was questionable, that it wasn't signed or sealed by normally how it's stamped by the court. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. No problem. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Nothing. So, and, uh, so you shouldn't be in jail at all because legally speaking, you're not, you, you haven't been arrested. I wanted to talk about procedure. Everything's procedure in law. Well, here we go. Uh, understand that we expected this to happen once again. Uh, if you're not up to date to the situation on that, but I know many of you who are subscribers and those of you who have uh, clicked on these videos before, you know that the Mercedes Carrera trial has been delayed for four and a half years. Looks like we're going to get into year five with this. But now we're getting a little bit deep into a lot of the charges, uh, if they're evidence, the search warrant. Um, there are violations across the board on this case. This case, it doesn't, it, the, 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 smell, the smell test is, is really rotten on this one. And if it's, a, you know, a look at what is going on in the California justice system and throughout the country, uh, there's a there's a blatant Sixth Amendment violation alone on this particular case, and ba and of course the uh, bail situation on this. But we're going to get into this out of uh, X Biz. Hat, uh, another hats off to Gustav Turner for this. Uh, Mercedes Carrera pretrial now postponed till 2024. New counsel name. She's gotten another uh, lawyer. Well, actually, it's a court-appointed lawyer because, you know, this whole situation has bankrupt her. You know, and that, you know, in a way, that that that's just literally because what's happening? They're trying. They're trying to run her on the rails out of business completely, which they pretty much have done. They just literally have just put a damper on her business, on her life. Uh, you know, her, ch her child, uh, this is all the things that, you know, we've always warned about, you know, the situation and, you know, it's coming, it's coming to flourishing. It is truly coming to flourishing. So let's read into this. The criminal trial of Mercedes Carrera and her husband on multiple child sex abuse charges was postponed again Friday, this time until next year, with pre-trial hearing now set to close on the fifth anniversary of their arrest. According to court documents, the hearing is now scheduled for Jan 16, 2024, with March 18 as the earliest possible date for a trial. Carrera and her husband, Jason Whitley, were arrested after a police raid of her rancho, rancho Cucamongo home on February 1st, 2019. By the new pretrial date, they will have been in county jail awaiting trial for just short of five years. I 
fucking knew it! Oh! Held initially without bail and later after they have liquidated their assets and no source of income due to the incarceration with bail set at two million for each. The first trial pre-hearing for the case took place in 20, July of 2022 with an October 3rd, uh, 2022 date agreed upon for the beginning of the jury trial. Since then, however, the trial date has been repeatedly vacated and postponed for over a year. In the course of four recent hearings, Judge Katrina West reset the pretrial to September 29th, then to October 3rd, 13th, and November 16th, and lastly, the 17th. Last week, ex-biz contacted Jeff Newman, the conflicting board attorney who had been re representing Carrera since the middle of the pandemic. Newman responded that he was no longer her lawyer and directed inquiries to the new attorney, Robert Little, who has been mentioned in previous documents as also being involved in the case. Exbis has left a message with Little's office asking for a clarification about whether he is acting as a private or conflicting board attorney, a lawyer appointed by the state in the place of a public defender, but received no reply. Before this development, phone conversations circulated online by one of Carrera's friends, reportedly with her permission, indicating that Carrera was critical of Newman's approach. Carrera's friend only identified himself as Louis B, contacted Exbiz to inform the industry community about a podcast titled Behind the Walls with Mercedes Carrera, the podcast featuring phone interviews with Carrera from the county jail, where she discusses her case, world events, and situation of the inmates in the San Bernardino County Correctional System. Her supporters also have launched a free Mercedes Carrera website, which includes documents presented to demonstrate the alleged police misconduct during her arrest. The website also uh, includes a section titled Faith about Carrera Jailhouse Embrace of Christianity, a handwritten letter purporting to be her from her states, I truly repent of the time in the adult industry, any negativity input it had put on the world and strive to find a new life in Christ, our Lord and Savior, for whom we may be redeemed. Well, looks like she's found Christ in jail. But see, here's the situation on this. First of all, there is a blatant, blatant Sixth Amendment and Eighth Amendment violations i i think there is right here i'm not a lawyer but it looks like to that situation now if you're not familiar with the sixth amendment the simplest and i'm going to give you the simplest terms to this the sixth amendment guarantees the right of criminal defendants including the right to a public trial without unnecessary delay the right to a lawyer the right to an impartial jury and the right to know your accusers are and the nature of the charges and evidence against you now the eighth amendment is the Eighth Amendment provides three essential protections for those accused of a crime on top found in the Fifth and Sixth Amendments. It prohibits excessive bail and fines as well as cruel and unusual punishments. Now, if you're looking at both of these, the Sixth and Eighth Amendment, uh, which I believe it, it, it has been violated. Now, there is a printout in uh, the Free Mercedes Carrera. Now, I cannot confirm, deny this, this paperwork, but if this is correct, and this is from the Superior Court of San Bernardino, this affidavit uh, search warrant has no warrant, this hasn't been filed. According to, to this document, it's not even on the system. I mean, anyone that's trying to look for it will not find it online. Uh, because basically there is no number, there was no stamp to this. So who, who provided this uh, search warrant and why did it bypass the courts? Now, it does say Judge Katrina on the, the sheet itself, that it's, it's, uh, the, that it's supposed to be signed by her, but there is no um, judge signature on there. It just It's just like a circle on there. There's no... <laughs> The other half of this, and this is the weird part about it, is the arresting officer and the detectives, according to the sheet, is 
a sergeant at the West Valley Jail. The arresting officer supposedly has lied about other reports in the past. And there's some sort of bias. Now, I can't prove this at the moment, but from what these, these papers that have been put online, you know, this is, you know, there, there's a lot of this. There's a lot of evidence items that were taken. Not evidence items that were taken. That would be standard things in their home. You know, they, they said, well, they, they had guns. Well, they had licenses for the guns. Now, supposedly they said there were drugs in the house, steroids, methamphetamine. But the thing about it is, is that she, uh, according to um, Mercedes Correa, she says there were no drugs in the house. Uh, they said there were porn videos, kids' robes, dark, you know, you know, stuff that would normally be in a home. You know, they said, well, you know, if a guy had a DVD porn in his home, it's not really evidence to the nature that it is. The other half is, is that the, there, there is no verification from, there was no search warrant filed, according to the clerk. So what is going on here? What is going on here? Half is the the adults the, the adult videos that they're talking about are perfect are videos from corporate companies, uh, you know, legitimate what you would buy in a the store. There are no minors in any of the, according to the, to what they're saying uh, that, that there's no images on that have been taken on there. So what's the evidence? What's what is the evidence? to this nature. I mean, if this is correct to this situation, this is the most miscarriage of justice. As I said in the past videos, as I said in the past videos on this, okay? I think this all lays down to a child custody case. I think this is a uh, he said, she said situation, whereas her ex is trying to get custody of their child and will say things on there, but I can't prove that right now at this moment. All I could say is, I think that this is what it is. You know, I have a belief that it's what it is. That's all I could say right now. Proof of the pudding. I need to see a lot more to this. Like I said, you know, Five, we're going into five years with this case. Five years. And it's just back and forth to the situation. And like I said, Sixth Amendment. Remember the Sixth Amendment on there. Guarantees the right of the criminal defendants, including the right to a public trial without necessary delay, the right to a lawyer, the right to an impartial jury, and the right to know who your accusers are and the nature of the charge and evidence against you. We have not seen any evidence from the prosecution to this case. Nothing has been printed. Notice, notice to the nature, who has been covering this story? A little bit on the local media, XBiz, and a couple of YouTubers. That's it, including this particular channel. What does that tell you? It tells you something doesn't smell right on this situation. It doesn't smell right at all. It stinks. A lot of those of you on YouTube and all of our other social media path platforms have said the same thing as well. What is going on with this? Now, there are a slew of podcasts. We, we There are several hours of it. I'm planning to go um, check each one of these out. Listen to each one of these. It's going to take some time. Probably by early next year, maybe by mid, you know, as I go through these all and, you know, go, th you know, listen to them carefully. Because what it is, is that most of these, and you have to listen to these very carefully uh, for the reason is that um, this is done not the recording is not done at the jail cell itself it's done over the phone from the jail cell to whoever's recording on the other end so basically the 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 sound is you know the audio is a little muffled but you can tell what she's saying but you have to listen carefully to what's going on now i know those there are those of you especially on my bitch channel 
and you say, well, good, that's, you know, that's what she deserves because she was in the porn, she's sinful and all that. Let me put it into this aspect because you haven't understand the situation. She's being railroaded through the court system. And the thing about it is many other people, same in California, this is in California. This is happening throughout California. This is happening in New York. People are being railroaded through the court system with accusations that basically would violate the Constitution. We have the Constitution. It is innocent until proven guilty. It is, it is the charge of the prosecution to basically prove that Mercedes Carrera or any other def defendant is guilty of the crimes they committed. But what has been happening is been that they're th being thrown into the jail cells saying that they're guilty, they should go away, that, you know, and, and we're seeing this, we've seen, and this is not the only case. We've seen this in New York also with a former president. We've seen this also with people trying to defend themselves from crime in New York. We have two people that are in jail right now that should not be in jail, should not be prosecuted. Okay, well, the second one, shooting a gun in the air twice, yeah, that's basically, you know, a slap on the wrist to the situation. The gun charge itself, you know, hey, listen, it's a fine to the situation. You know, that could be pleaded down easily, but they're not going to. They're making him an example. That's why in the media, they call this guy a vigilante, but he, a vigilante, understand, a vigilante does it more than once. This guy, this is the only time he's ever done this, this particular guy in New York. He shot two shots in the air to shake off a guy who was attacking a woman who all you know that she was being ripped off, she could have been raped. The other one was the, the guy Penny, you know, who held the guy in a chokehold because he was literally going after people in a subway car. He was making a dangerous situation. And there is a law in our, on our books that says, you can defend yourself in this type of situation. But this is what the courts are doing now. You have officials, district attorneys, uh, Soros type district attorneys, judges that are blatantly violating the constitution of this country. They're trying to shut down. And the thing is, they're coming across the board for you. And I, and I said this many a times, these age verifications, this attack on the porn industry. This is not an attack on the porn industry. These age verification laws are to shut down the internet and control it, to control the voice of the people on the internet. So basically they, that the, whoever's in charge of the government will be able to put out what is what they want people to know and not to question it. Have you ever seen the movie Equilibrium? Have you ever seen that movie? That's what, that's what we're headed toward. They want to eliminate artistic expression. They want to eliminate all these videos and movies and this freedom of speech, you know, on, on Twitter, and on Facebook and all that. They want to eliminate everything and have control of the narrative of what stories that can be put out, what movies uh, that can be made and put on the screen. Everything else should be eliminated, according to them. And, and if you, you say, well, that can't be happening. It is happening. Look at the United Kingdom. Look at Australia. Look at France. Italy's the latest now. We have a video on that as well. Why is Italy putting a, um, what they call a, uh, they're distorting screens on what they consider adult content, but there's already on Google um, a device that already does that automatically. And you could, it's easy to turn on and off. 
They're gonna say, it's for the children. We're protecting the children. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? No, you're not. Because there are children on the streets right now. They're being used as prostitutes, factory workers, drug runners. And this is not any third world country it's happening in. This is in the United States of America it's happening in. It's happening in the United Kingdom. It's happening in France. It's happening in Germany. You know, even though it's happening in, in third world countries like Africa and India and China and North Korea, but it's also happening here. So when you tell me that, you know, Mercedes Correa, oh, she should go to jail. Blah, 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 blah. Look at it to the perspective is, has the state violated her rights? Has the county violated her rights? According to the sixth and eighth amendment. They've already violated to, on Alex Jones. They already violated on Donald Trump and many others. There are people from the press in jail now because of January 6th. And we are already seeing videos come out that the narrative is not the narrative that the media and the far left were pushing out. W was there violence in Jan 6th? Yeah. But if you notice, who just got arrested recently and found guilt and they're prosecuting right now, I think they found him guilty, is an Antifa member who was selling wolf tickets at the door that was antagonizing people to commit violence. How many others like him were there that were trying to push this? Think about that for a minute. Think about what is happening. You know, I'm going on a little bit onto this, but on this, you know, because basically it is important. We have to look at all the cards that are on the table right now. This is not only a prosecution about child pornography. This is a prosecution of a person's rights, a right to their child, a right to a fair prosecution in a jury, judge, jury, I can go on and on about this, but remember one thing, $2 million bail on each of them. That's $4 million excessive bail. They've been in their jail, in this jail cell will be going on. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five years. California has already put a no bail situation in play. Mercedes Carrera and Jason Whitley should be out at this point. They're only dealing with court appointed lawyers. Because people say, well, poor, poor, poor people can, can't afford it on there. No, they, the, the government has literally broken the back on Mercedes Carrera and, and violated the constitution by putting on fines and, and processes that pretty much has has made her broke to the situation. Think of Alex Jones's fine, one billion dollars, one billion dollars. You say, well, he can afford it. That's excessive. That's excessive. That alone should warrant an appeal. Because the, the Alex Jones didn't get a trial. Donald Trump didn't get a trial. A lot of these other people haven't gotten a trial. They were found guilty and basically fined immediately. You know, you say, well, you, you're a fan of Alex Jones. It has nothing to do with whether it being a fan or not being a fan. Look at the case itself. They came to a conclusion before he walked into that courtroom. That violates the Constitution. And that's the same thing that's happening to Mercedes Carrera. She is walks into that courtroom, they've kept her in jail for this long until she breaks. That is no way of it being constitutional. And like I said, if you think it, it's only happening to them, wait until it happens to you. If you ever seen Reversal of Fortune, Jeremy Irons, um, there's a great lines is why help 
the guilty people. Remember the point that everyone deserves a defense. And I am pissed off here. The family hired a private prosecutor. Unacceptable. They conducted a private search. Now, we let them get away with that. Rich people won't go to the cops anymore. You know what they're going to do? They're going to get their own lawyers to collect evidence. And then they are going to choose which evidence they feel like passing on to the DA. And the next victim isn't going to be rich like Von Bulow, but it's going to be some poor schnook in Detroit who can't afford or who can't find a decent lawyer. Whether you're guilty or innocent, as you, said, as you heard right here on that little clip of the movie, is always remember that because basically, think of the Von Bulow case. Think about that for a second. The family hired their own team, the prosecutor, police, inv your investigators. They pulled all the evidence together and then gave what they thought would put Von Bulow away to the district attorney. Yeah, this actually did happen. Now, whether you believe he's guilty or innocent, no. He didn't get a fair trial because of that. And you may ask yourself, well, he's a rich person. He was other. But as, as Dershowitz, the Dershowitz character said, and this is the truth, is today it's Von Bueller. Tomorrow it's some poor guy who can't afford it and will end up in jail because of that. That they'll be railroaded. And look what's happening now. And this is happening in our court systems now. There are people who have been railroaded into jail and did not get a fair trial. Whether you agree with the person or disagree, everybody deserves a defense. They deserve a trial, a fair trial trial. That's why we have the Constitution. And I think Mercedes Pereira has not gone a fair trial situation because they haven't even started. They haven't even started. And, we have, and like I said, we have not seen any one inch of evidence to the nature. So tell me in the comments below. I know we are way on the holidays and this, this popped up right Right, right before the Thanksgiving holiday, as it always happens. But you tell me, am I right? Am I wrong? I want to know. Because I've noticed this also lately. Not only in this case, in many cases. I've seen blatant racism. I've seen blatant uh, violations of the Fifth, the Sixth, the Eighth Amendments of the Constitution. Like I said, whether you like the person or you hate the person, they deserve a proper defense. So I hope you have had a safe holiday. We are going to be back fully back in December. Uh, we do have videos that are popping up here and there. Uh, do check them out. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed. We are well over 900. 900 subscribers we're on our way to a thousand so thank you again and if hopefully today's the day i've earned your subscription for those of you who haven't subscribed yet so until next time stay strong pay attention ask questions because this is what they don't want you to do thanks for watching before you go please comment like and share this video also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe as this helps the reach of our channel. Finally, as a content viewer, you have that ability help support this and many other channels. Especially now more than ever since the passing of a new law in the United Kingdom that will diminish the reach of many channels and affect our advertisers. If you wish to help grow this channel by financial support you have two ways. There are two links in the description below, the first will send you to a pay site where you can make a monetary donation.
The second will send you to our gear store where can purchase t-shirt, mugs and other specialty items. Any additional discounts will be listed on the main page. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.